Hello guys and welcome to my channel, I'm Amanda and we are here with a collab video today and I'm super excited to bring this to you um, because this collab is with Tor and um, she's another artist here on YouTube. Her artist YouTube name is Illustrate or Tor, Illustrate Tor, <laughs> it's really hard to say but it's very clever. Um, and I absolutely love doing this collab with her. The theme that we decided to go with is hibernation and we decided this because we were going to do it in winter and we thought we would do something a little bit different. So I am drawing the whole thing um, out and colouring it myself and she's doing the same. She's drawing her own one and colouring it herself instead of doing a line swap or whatever we, th we just thought that would be the best idea. So um, I sketched this out in my sketchbook a million times trying to figure out what to do and then I went into Krita and paint, uh, digitally, digitally drew it because for some reason I'm having an easier time sketching, especially with a lot of elements in the drawing in uh, a digital painting program because you can use layers and stuff like that. So. I did that and then I went to my mother's house and I tried to print it out on really good paper but it didn't work because um, my mum's printer doesn't accept watercolour paper so then I printed it out on printer paper and then I came over to my house and uh, as you can see right now I am using my light box to trace the line work um, so that I can then watercolour it because I've been really into watercolours recently um, digital and watercolour is really my favourite medium at the moment. I know coloured pencil was like my jam for a while but now it's not. So here I am getting it ready to go and paint and I had so much fun painting this. I didn't want to use a lot of brown because I knew that trees are usually really brown and in furniture a lot of furniture is brown and then the chipmunk is brown um, so maybe I should tell you a little bit about the actual concept of this. So I decided that hibernation would be, um, I didn't want to do a bear or something so I decided to do a chipmunk and I looked up information about chipmunks and where they hibernate and what they would do and I decided to draw this cartoonesque kind of storybook um, illustration of a uh, little looksy like a dollhouse into um, this little tree and uh, the the chipmunk has gathered all these furniture all this furniture and wood and has uh, crafted it and put it up in his uh, little place and then he's been looking for nuts so he's got little piles of nuts it's just the start of hibernation at the moment for him he um, is trying to figure out what to do and that blank space next to the chipmunk on the right is me not knowing what to put there. I did put a little question on Twitter asking what I could put there and Laurie, um, my good supporter and friend, said that I should do a bookcase or a fireplace or a plant and all of those suggestions are really good but I just didn't do it because I I had already finished it before she said that so I just left it blank um, and the walls are bare but I was already doing a lot more elements than I usually do in a painting so I was kind of scared so I just left it blank um, but I can think that maybe he's just sitting there even though he's looking the other way <laughs> he's uh, standing there thinking what should I do with this area of my house um, looking at it and seeing what he could put there himself so that's my that's my thing. Uh, if you go down in the description there will be links to Illustrate Tor's uh, YouTube channel so you should definitely go and check her out. I think her personality is awesome and her art is super cute and awesome as well um, and I've really enjoyed getting to know her and talking to her in, on Twitter uh, the past couple of months and uh, I think that you should go and show her some support. Um, I at least want to see a lot of people go over there. I mean, she, she's got half the amount of subscribers as me or even more than that so I want you guys to go and support her. I really do think that she deserves all of the support and she's absolutely lovely. Like she's so genuine and awesome so on you go and do that after this video and go and check out her video as well and leave her lovely comments and hearts and stuff like that and tell her that I, that I sent you and all that fun collab stuff. Anyway, 
Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed doing this. And while I was painting this, I usually either listen to music or um, listen to something that I don't have to look at uh, because I don't like to be distracted while I'm working. I like to just work, work, work and never look up from the drawing or the painting or whatever. So I decided that I wanted to watch a film because I was really into watching um, films on Netflix at this point in time or series on Netflix. But I'd ran out of series to watch because I'd catch, I caught up with everything else that I was watching at the time. So I decided to watch an old film that I'd already watched which is called Angus Thongs and Perfect Snoggin and it is like the most teenage drama -y, cringy film that you could possibly get and I enjoyed watching it. <laughs> like, I won't lie, I actually enjoyed it. Um, so I had fun with that and yeah, I decided to punch some yellows in there and green. I don't know why I did that but I tried to use all of the same colours in the picture rather than putting lots of different tones and colours in there. Although I don't know where the yellow came from because I did not use that yellow. I just put a punch of yellow on the pillows. And I was going to make them mismatched as well but I decided to just leave them all yellow. And this voiceover is jumping over from like tour to drawing to Angus Thongs and Perfect Snoggin. Great. Perfect. So yeah. Um, so the way that I decided to do the tree was to put in a lot of purples and uh, greens but also put in some browns but I decided that this would have been the best option. Also I know that I did the insides, you know the bit, little bits that look chewed? I know I did that quite wrong, it should have probably been lighter than than um, than the tree outside because that's just how it works I think. I'm not sure how insides of trees look so I don't know, you're getting this. And I decided to just leave the background blue to make it look like the tree is high up in the sky and the chipmunk has decided to go up higher so that he doesn't get any other chipmunks or squirrels or anything like that trying to steal his nuts. Um, but then he might have birds coming in because birds can fly. But to be fair, <laughs> all those other animals can climb trees as well. How did he get up there? Um, but yeah, I, I did it. So <laughs> I did it. <laughs> So I think I was using my Winsor Newton um, Winsor Newton Studio paints and I will be doing a, a little review video of those paints because uh, I just got them recently and I'm I'm using them quite a lot so I have a lot to say about them. But yeah, uh, it seems to be going on forever. And I could have put more saturation and more layers onto this after I'm finished but I decided to leave it quite not pastel but just a little bit lighter than than usual, I think. I don't know. I think I got lazy towards the end and just ended up just leaving it like that instead of doing more layers and more depth because technically inside of the tree the walls wouldn't be that bright, they would be a little bit darker. But he has lights so I'm thinking that maybe he's got his light on but then there's no like lighting situation around about the place. So here I am, tearing it off because I know that you guys like that, although sometimes people prefer it to be slowed down and I sped it up by accident. <laughs> Whoops. And then after that I just go around the edges with some um, pen just to thicken up the edges and the lines and then I sign it and then I'm done. So that was the video. That was the, the awesome illustration. I'm really happy with this though because this is the first one that I did that has a lot of elements in it and um, I don't know when this is actually going to go up because it, uh, I don't think Tor has finished hers. She went on holiday so I'm not sure if she's finished hers yet. But anyway, I'm going to end this video here. Um, please remember to go and visit Tor's channel and check out her video and show her lots of love and support. And subscribe to me as well and comment below tell me what you think of this do you like to draw little illustrations like this or do you struggle with it and I will see you in my next video and I think my schedule has changed I think it's gonna be Monday Wednesday and Friday that I upload now um, I don't want to upload too much videos because I want the quality to be better. Anyway, make sure you stay behind to check out the finished product and also click on all the links that I will link in the, dis in the end slate. <laughs>
at the end. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you later. Bye guys.